this video, I'm gonna make art using only one color. A color that's vibrant, elegant, and regal. That's right, blue! Now this is my third time tackling the single color challenge. I made this all pink painting, I made this all green painting, and I had so much fun with those that I only have one thing to say. I, I want to do that again, cause it was fun. So, it's time to grab the color of Cookie Monster, Marge Simpson's hair, and an animated dog that I've seen far too much of because I'm the father of a two-year-old. And make an epic painting using only blue. Okay, first things first, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna paint on this thing. And I know just who to ask. All right, guys, I need you to tell me what I should paint on this using only blue paint. We got a dolphin. We got a narwhal, Squirtle, green tree python painted in blue, a 2008 Subaru Impreza hatchback. Nick, that is your car, I will not be doing that. Aww. Blue raspberries, puffin, angry blueberries, smurfs, obviously, I knew that one was coming. Blue cheese, Mega Man, a chair. Today I'm gonna do a new tutorial, how to pick up a chair if it falls down. Kraken, Godzilla wearing blue jeans. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg eating jellyfish jelly. <laughs> a really dapper parrot. Hex yes. An Avenger crew of Sonic, Stitch, Mega Man, Blue from Blue's Clues, and Cookie Monster. What a dream team. A blue lobster. Gyarados, blue footed boobies. I wanna make that just so I can say that like five times in the YouTube video about this. Blue Jay, blue lightsaber, ZHC's hair. <laughs> Swordfish, Sully from Monsters Inc, but he's emo. The blue alien from the iPhone. 65 song, this blue frisbee, <laughs> blue raspberry flavored Capri Sun, cassowary, no idea what that is, Slurpee, Capri Sun, <laughs> somebody really wants a Capri Sun in there. Nick just keeps listing off cars. Yeah, why not? X-Men's Beast, I'm just gonna keep suggesting Capri Sun. All right, their profile picture is Capri Sun too. I might have to just sneak a little Capri Sun packet into this painting just for that one person. Deep sea angler fish, oh that's cool. Blue Slee. <laughs> Wait, Blue Icy. I thought that said Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee. Let's just paint Bruce Lee all in blue. All right, guys, my head is swimming with these blue suggestions. Thank you very much. I will catch you next time I need some badass ideas. Peace out. All right, my fans on Instagram are psychos and I love that about them. I have a lot of suggestions here. Normally I just jot down a few of my favorites, but this time I had Nick type out every single suggestion. Yeah. Super fun. So now I'm gonna go through these, see which ones I love, and hopefully implement them into a crazy piece of concept art. By the way, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm at 10 Hun, so that you can give me a weird painting suggestion in the future. But armed with my magical list, it's time to jump in to the concept art. I reached for my blue highlighter and started picking out some of your ideas that I thought would be cool. Then I grabbed my iPad Pro and opened up Procreate. Doing concept art based on your ideas is really fun for me. What kind of crazy composition can I come up with with all these random and totally different ideas? Now, in my last single color challenge, the green one, I tried to use a lot of you guys' suggestions. And this is a crazy piece. There is a lot going on here. But in this next one, I'm gonna try and use like 15% less stuff and hopefully have it be a touch more simple. But I do struggle with keeping things simple. We'll see. Okay, so here is my concept art. I've got this tiger with a crazy shark hoodie on, maybe even a tiger shark. All of these are suggestions from you guys, by the way. We got a cookie monster patch on his elbow. Had to include the Capri Sun for that one dude who was just spamming Capri Sun in the chat. We got a parrot, but he's bundled up because it's a little bit chilly there. Got a Godzilla backpack. Definitely. Definitely needed a couple blue-footed boobies because there's nothing better than a pair of boobies. Got a blue emperor butterfly. And then in my pink one, we had kind of a swamp setting. And in my green one, we had kind of a jungle setting. So in this one, I have kind of a, a snowy Arctic mountain scene. We're just traveling around all the different geo zones of the world. So that is my concept art. Now it's time to print this thing out and get it transferred onto my panel so I can start painting it. Old 10 gallon hundred printed out the concept art. 
Then he grabbed his trusty scissors and started slicing it up. Oh, don't forget the scotch tape. Then Ten Gallon done trimmed up all the excess edges and sliced open his fresh panel. Then grabbed some of that sweet, sweet Sorrel to get ready to transfer that sketch. Transfer paper And I got Transfer blue I feel that my soul Okie dokie, sketch, transferred, mission accomplished. Now I'm gonna tone this panel with a light wash of acrylic paint and I'll give you three guesses which color I'm gonna tone it with. Green, orange, red. If you guess blue, you are 100% correct. Oh. The prep work is almost done, finally. Let's tone this panel. Toning the panel seals in my graphite so I'm not smudging it the whole time. It also adds a nice blue undertone to my art, so even if I go a little thin with the paint, it's gonna be blue showing through and not white. It also helps with my color accuracy because putting colors on a pure white background makes my paint colors appear darker by comparison. Panel is toned, prep work is done. It's finally time to start painting on this beautiful blue bad baby bananas <laughs> thing. And I'm excited to finally be painting. The next painting in the color series begins now. While I paint this snowy mountain background, I'm gonna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. And with Squarespace, it's super easy. They have amazing award-winning templates and all you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their beautiful templates and boom, you got a website. I love their image galleries to show off my art. I love their e-commerce to sell my merch, email campaigns, SEO, literally every tool you need to build a beautiful website. Plus, if you ever run into any issues, they have 24 7 customer support and if you have a creative vision you want to share with the world you deserve to have a beautiful website so go to squarespace.com to start your free trial and then when you're ready to launch your site go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10 percent off the first purchase of a website or domain thanks squarespace okay backgrounds complete aka the boring part now i get to move on to the fun stuff the tiger the shark all these crazy characters in this painting this is the part that i've been looking forward to looks like a blue pun i can say hopefully anyone who looks at this painting when it's done will say wow that blew me away <laughs> let's get painting that was beautiful as I jump in on these characters, I'm starting off with this blue tiger. Tigers are one of my favorite animals to paint. They have the darker orange fur, and then they have the really light white fur, which provides contrast, and then those stripes provide like ultra contrast and a pattern. They're not too furry, so you can still get some smooth shapes, but they do have some fur, so you can get some texture. Just all around S tier animal to paint. I love painting tigers, and this is not my first time, nor will it be my last. I wanted to show you guys my awesome concept art setup. I have a tiger on this laptop, the concept sketch on this iPad. I got the blue macaw on this laptop. I got a shark on this TV screen. It's freaking reference image heaven in here. Anytime I limit myself, paradoxically, it seems to flourish more creativity. When I take away options and limit myself to just one color, it's almost more fun and more inspiring than just a regular painting. Okay, for you regular viewers, you might know that this single color challenge is a bit of a mini series on my channel. I'm slowly working my way through the whole rainbow. Why? Because I'm just having so much fun. It's just so fun to do these single color paintings. Now, on the original pink painting, we do have some Gicle prints of these. These are limited edition of 500. There's a few left of those, as well as the all green painting, limited edition of 500. There's a few left of those still too. On the all pink one, we have shirts in black. I've 
ivory and a brand new color because I just reordered these. The pale pink. Pink on pink on pink, baby. And we have a very, very few of the all green ones left. We have like maybe one or two larges, uh, some extra larges, and then like maybe some 2X and 3X. Super limited on those. We got apparel of the all pink and all green. We got Gicle prints of the all pink and all green. I think it's gonna be so cool when the whole series is done and the whole rainbow of prints is hanging on a wall. Hopefully it's gonna look epic in the end. But yeah, that's at 10hun.com. Actually, if I get this video out in time, my Valentine's sale is running through February 14. So you can get up to 15% off with that too. I forgot about that. This all blue painting, I think is the most tricky one so far because it feels a little bit more limited than the green one or the pink one. With the green one, I could go and add yellow and it would become lime green. I could add blue and it would get more into the jades and teals. Same with the pink. But with the blue one, if I add any yellow to it, it quickly jumps into the green territory. If I add any reds or pinks to it, it dips down into purple. I think because blue is like a primary color, it's just way more tight within the confines of how far you can travel within that blue spectrum. I'm using a lot more blacks and whites and doing like cool grays. This has me thinking forward to red and yellow and thinking about how those are gonna feel pretty limited too. It just feels like my color palette is much more narrow on the blue only painting versus the previous ones. I like a good challenge. I like the challenge of working within one hue. I like the challenge of trying to work with all you guys' crazy ideas and turn them into an interesting composition. I challenge myself to try and get better with each painting or at least learn something new. Continuing to challenge myself as an artist is how I keep myself from getting bored with my art. And I take on new challenges with these videos to try and continue to grow as a creator. I don't win every challenge. But I keep striving to do better. And it's in that struggle against all life's challenges that I can find the meaning in what I do. Just two characters left, and then the blue only color challenge is done. So exciting. sitting here looking at this painting one last time before I call it done and I think this outer border here just feels a little empty right now so I just had the last minute idea since this is an arctic scene to maybe add some snow piled up around the edges and accentuate this frame within a frame thing that I have going here it could look dumb but I'm hoping that it looks cool
Oh yeah, baby. Another color down. The all blue painting is done. And I gotta show you guys the final sexy shots. But first, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. The all blue painting Gicle prints are up for pre-order right now on my website. We have the pink ones. We have the green ones. Now the blue ones are up for pre-order. As you're watching this video, that painting is already being shipped out to Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction. They're gonna do a professional scan of it, make super high quality prints. I'm gonna hand sign them and number them. Archival inks on museum quality papers. My Valentine sale is going till February 14, so probably a few days after this video comes out. Those are gonna be at a discounted price too. I also wanna say a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and making videos like these possible. I'm 10 100, and now the final blue sexy Hope you liked the video. Check out this next one right here that just popped up on the end screen. YouTube thinks you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it too. Go ahead. You know you wanna click it.